it's a blessing to have a nice looking family, ain't it? Amen. 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 <laughs> We have our moments like everybody else. But at the end of the day, buddy, we are a family and we got each other's back. You hear me? <laughs> Praise God. I want you to open your Bible with me to Mark chapter 11. Whew. I'm still trying to recover from that. Get, get on it might hit again. Oh. If it does. I'll pack this up and unpack that again. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 11. I know pastor's been ministering a lot along the lines of faith. And so have I, actually. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay in the vein this morning. Amen? Amen? Mark chapter 11, verses, of course, you know right where to go, 22 through 24. 22 through 24. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, what I uh, have really been focusing on through faith is our ability not only to start things, but to stop things. Say this. Say, I have, I have the, power the power to start, to start and, and to stop things and to stop with my faith. With my faith. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Faith is not only a fact, but it is an act. Mm. And an act that has to be activated. Amen. Faith without works is what? Dead. 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 But we can show people our faith and even show God our faith by our works. And when we talk about works, we're not talking about like works of the flesh. Things that we just do out of our flesh attempting mm -hmm. to force or to make something happen. But really, when faith hits your heart, this is what I have discovered for me personally, is that when really faith goes active, there is always some sort of a strategy or an instruction of movement that the Lord gives me. You have to step out in faith. You don't just need an idle faith that is just sitting there, knowing it's there, but it hasn't gone active. It's got to be active. And there's going to be times that you literally have to stir up the faith. Mm. Amen. Amen. Paul told Timothy this. He said, I know that it's in you because it's in your DNA. Your grandmother and your mama yeah. moves and operates in faith. Yeah. And it's in you. Amen. But Timothy, you will have to stir up what has been put inside of you. Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hand and say, Lord, stir my faith up this morning. I believe you'll hear something that will spark and stir, amen, and then cause a release of activation. When your faith really goes active, you will have manifestation. Amen. 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 I want to say that again. When your faith really goes active, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the what? The evidence or the proof. Amen. Amen. The manifestation. So when faith goes active, there will be a manifestation. I believe that your faith in this particular time and season, especially here in Elevate Life Church, it is not only being challenged and stirred, but I fully believe it has gone active in the supernatural realm. Mm -hmm. And you are going to see bona fide manifestations begin to happen for you on a personal level and on a corporate level. Amen. Amen. Man, there's, ooh, something's up in here this morning. Mm. Uh, you don't have the same faith, my God, that everybody else has. While every man has been dealt the measure of, not everybody is functioning in the same measure, level, or dimension of it. 
At the foot of the cross, all is level. Everybody comes in and receives the same measure at the time of being born again. But then there is the next step of the process. And you, ah, oh God, I've got to prophesy right there, are not going to sit in limbo in the process. But your faith has been activated in this place through the impartation of the seed of the word of faith, wow. but also by the confirming, amen, move of the Holy Spirit. The word and the spirit have come together as one. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm just telling you, something has gone active in this place today for manifestation. There's a time for planting, and then there is a time for reaping. But in the hour that you and I are living in, Amos said that the plowman will overtake the reaper. Isaiah says, while you're yet calling, I will hear. While you're yet speaking, I will answer. So the Second, your seed and your word of faith goes active, you will begin to see the immediate results. You can prepare yourself today for a quantum leap of suddenly. Y'all better hear the Holy Ghost. A quantum leap of suddenlies from the heavenlies that literally catapult you from the spot that you are in right now and land you in the very land of manifestation. Yeah. What are you saying to us, prophet is German? I'm telling you before today is over, you are going to have a bona fide manifestation of activated faith and fulfillment where the word is made flesh. Lift your hands and begin to praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because you don't have ordinary faith. You have supernatural faith. You have what I'm about to read to you, Mark 11, verse number 22. And Jesus replying to them said, have faith in God. Now, the I'm reading this from the Amplified at the moment. It, in brackets, it says constantly, <clears throat> continuously, perpetually, without interruption. Without interruptions from outside forces, without interruption by the elements of the world Jesus. or the outside elements, the weather conditions, whether literal, spiritual, or physical, amen? amen. You have a faith that is dead to doubt, How that is dumb to discouragement that is blind to impossibility, and it knows nothing but success. Amen. Lift your hand and say, my faith my knows faith. nothing but success. <laughs> say it again, my faith my knows faith. nothing <laughs> but success. I don't, mm, I don't have intercourse. I don't have spiritual intercourse with anything that is outside of God. That is outside of God's will. Boy, this is good right here. I am not, come on, my faith knows nothing. It is not becoming intimate with poverty. It will not become intimate with sickness, infirmity, and disease. My faith is not going to mix with the fads and fashions and the worldly spirit and the compromising spirit. Come on. I, my faith is not mixing with doubt and unbelief. My faith is constant. I have a supernatural faith in me. I don't just have ordinary faith. I don't just have human faith. I have the God kind of faith. I have faith from God. I have faith in God. I have faith with God. And I have the faith of God. You have the faith of God. The faith working in you is not the same faith that is working with those who have not become intimate with the Lord. Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. It's a crazy anointing in here this morning. You hear me? 
It is not usual. You are going to birth things out of and from the supernatural. You will not give birth to ordinary plans. Humanistic ideas. I feel the power of God on me, Michael. No more birthing of humanistic ideas. Good thoughts that are only on the level of what you know by the natural. Everything in you ha, ha, is being born out of birth through supernatural faith that only God operates in. Only God. What is he saying? I have raised you up. I have seated you in my conversation of the Godhead. You will hear what I hear. When you hear Jesus, when you hear what I hear, then you will see what I see. Because you uh, see, hearing produces sight. Hearing produces vision. Vision does not produce hearing. You have to hear it first. Then what you hear is what you see. That is that is vision. 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 That comes out of the supernatural. It can't be reached and accessed by the natural. Even people who are producing things during, you know, in, in the world, in the marketplace, they don't even realize it. But some of them are operating on a level that they don't even qualify from a spiritual standpoint. Because God is using them as a seed in the earth. My God to still show himself strong and mighty in the land. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and begin to praise him. Have the faith of God. Have faith in God. I'm going to read two more verses just a moment. The Aramaic Bible in plain English says, Yeshua answered, and he said to them, May the faith of God be in you. May the faith of God be in you. Not just be on you. Not just be for you. May it be in you. What is in you will come through you. So may the faith of God be in you. So that that same supernatural faith can come through you and begin to produce on supernatural level. The Berean literal Bible says, have faith from God. So if my faith comes from God and it gets in me, once it is birthed in me, it has become the faith of God in me. And then when I function in it and release it, it becomes the faith of God through me. Listen, faith is the currency of the kingdom of God. You can't get anything without faith. The scripture says without faith, it is impossible to please him. Amen. The scripture says that the just shall live by faith. One of the references of that comes from Galatians 3 and chapter 11 that says like this, the just or the righteous shall live, watch this, by and out of faith. And he who through faith is declared righteous and in right standing with God shall live. I and you, or you and I, when we are justified by faith, and we're not justified by the law, we're made righteous by faith. Amen. Yeah. But it's not just normal faith. Jesus. Most people can't believe and receive the concept that they are made righteous through faith. They are still trying to uh, bring it to pass by the keeping of the law. 
And the mindset of church will keep you in the mode of trying to keep the law, to keep the Ten Commandments, to keep this, to keep that, to do this. It's all in the doing versus in the who that is in you. Mm. But you see, Christ in you is the hope of glory. Amen. Christ through you is the glory. Amen. 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 Y'all hang out. This is good today. So we live in and or live by and out of faith. So I have the faith of God in me. You have the faith of God in you. We live by it, but we also live out of it. Hello, y'all. Come on. Yes. Come on, say something. Amen. Say something Amen. right there. Say, I'm living out of God's faith. I'm living out of God's faith. I believe the way God believes. I believe the way God believes. Because he put it in me. I couldn't get it in me by myself. He put it in me. And when he raised us up and sent us down in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, he raised, hallelujah, not only that level of righteousness, but he raised that level of faith that we could believe just like he believes. Yes. Amen. Yes. With no contamination to the faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, fear tolerated is faith contaminated. Mm. That's right. Anything that you tolerate that is outside of the realm of faith, that will become sin in your life. If you tolerate worry, anxiety, fear, unbelief, all those things, the Bible says whatsoever, you know, uh, is not of faith is sin. Yes. Amen. Sin, what is sin? To miss the mark. You don't want to miss the mark where your faith is concerned. Mm -hmm. Hello. Right. The Bible says that when the Son of Man shall return, shall he find faith on the earth. I would like to say it like this. Shall he find faith in the earth? Mm -hmm. For we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency may be of the power of God yes. and not of ourselves. Amen. So there, when, when God's faith is in us and begins to operate through Goodness. We are not of ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said we are not of ourselves. When we are, are y'all catching what I'm saying? We're not of ourselves. Amen. I am not a human being, Come just on. a human being. Yes, I am living in a physical body so that I can operate in this earth system. But the real us is not this physical being. It is the only, it's the outer shell by which that we can communicate with other humans in the earth. Yes. But we don't, op we operate to them, not like them. Amen. Amen. Does that make sense? Yeah. I may be, hey, I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. On, I came from another place. You came from another place. The word says that Jesus is the author and the finisher of your faith. So you're living not only out of faith, but by his faith, but you're living out of his faith. He is the author of your faith, but he is also the finisher of your faith. That means that he brings every faith project that is going on in your life, he brings it to the place of manifestation. He brings it across the finish line. And that's not in eternity that he does that. He does it right here in this earth realm. Because when a word comes from God over your life, he has absolutely no doubt that it's going to be fulfilled. He is the Amen. author of that faith. He is the author of that word. And he says that word will be made manifest in this life and in the life to come. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and praise him for that right there. I'm not going on long this morning. But I want to, I want to, I want to take your faith to another place. I want to take my faith. To another place. Have the faith of God. Jesus had walked and came upon a fig tree yeah. that had leaves, green leaves all over it. He was hungry. He wanted some figs off of that tree. That tree was very deceptive. 
because it gave indication by the green leaves on it that there would be fruit on that tree. Yeah. And Jesus' mouth is watering mm -hmm. until he gets close enough and he begins to see there is no fruit on this tree. There are no figs. Jesus. And the Bible said he cursed that tree mm -hmm. at the root. Mm -hmm. Jesus. He didn't curse the leaves because they didn't have no figs on them. He cursed the fruit or the root by which the fruit should have been produced from. You have that same kind of faith that you can look at and speak to the root of what is not being produced that should be Come on. or something that is being produced that should not be yeah. and by faith you can curse that root Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. and that thing will dry up at the root yes. I've had a robo Jesus began to speak to those disciples that were walking along there with him and he, he's getting them ready. He's preparing them in advance. Because the next day, when they come back by that same tree, it is dried up. Jesus. In a 24-hour period of time or less. Y'all better lift up your hand because I'm telling you, quick, fast, and in a hurry things are about to manifest come in your on. life. Because of this faith that I'm talking about this morning. Because you are not normal people. Come on. You are supernatural people. Come on. You know things other people do not know. Glory to God. And they are scratching their head trying to figure out how come everything always works out for your good. Come on. And it is because you are tapping in to the supernaturalness by which you were created from and not just with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's, that's the root in your life. You have the root. You have the DNA of dominion and the supernatural inside of you. Glory. I told local Sana. So it don't matter what comes against you and how long it's tried to be there. The end result will be that when the smoke of the battle clears away, you're standing there. Your nose is clean. Hallelujah. Your mind is still sane. Your body is healed. Your finances are blessed and overflowing. Hallelujah. And your ministry is enlarging. And your business is growing. Hello, somebody. They Google your name and you are at the top. Google your own name. You might find yourself <laughs> that you're already at the top. I did it one day. I Googled my own name, and guess who popped up first? Me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Holy Ghost is in here today. Just, just lift your hands. Jesus. I'm not trying to complicate this. I'm trying to get you to see just how easy it is. I want you to see how easy it is. When you exercise and make use of the faith of God that is, oh my Lord, that is in you. He is the author of, and, and, and oh, he's the finisher of it. It's supported by his power. It's encouraged by his goodness, his truth, and his faithfulness. Yes. Hallelujah. It not only overthrows mountains. Mm. Come on, somebody. Yes. It does even greater things than that. Many years I've heard my husband allude to this scripture. Because when you go on, Jesus said, that if you would say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. And that you would, if you would not doubt in your heart, uh huh, but that you would believe that those things which you say will come to pass. He said you will have them. Come on. You're going to lift up your hand and say, it's mine and I have it now. It's mine and I have it now. And so many people want to spiritualize that right there. But you need to know your faith will move literal things. Yeah. 
You need to know that if you're traveling down the highway, that God will clear off. That you'll not sit in a two-hour traffic delay. I don't hear nobody. Come on. You need to know that if you're the last, you will be the first. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to know that God won't just move late in the midnight hour. He'll move in the first second of that day as you come yes. over. Yes. Why, does, why do you have to be the last one God Come on. So I'm tired. I have to be the last one God finally comes through for. I got a faith in me that will shift, that will superimpose itself over time, space, matter, circumstances, defeat, discouragement, depression, poverty, lack, bills. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand. Why? Because I got God's faith. I don't have R.W. Shamrock's faith. I don't have Or Robert's faith. I don't have Ron Hartbonke's faith. I have God's faith in me. And these are men of God who operate in God's faith. But we got to stop reducing who we are down to mere mortal man. Hallelujah. God, I feel it so strong. It don't matter if everybody in your bloodline died of heart disease. You don't have to die of no heart disease. You don't have to die of cancer. Just cause it was all broke. Don't mean you gotta be broke. Of insanity don't mean you have to be Come crazy. On, Come on. Lift up your hands. You just gotta know who's operating in you. You gotta know what kind of faith is in you. God will exalt you when everybody else and everything else around you is going down. Faith will not only lift up the mountain and throw it. We're just kind of hoping that things are just sort of lighten up and ease up and get a little relief. He says, no. If you will have my faith moving and operating in you the way it operates through me, God says, then you too, you'll look at this mountain and you'll say to it, I'm picking you up, I'm lifting you up, and I'm throwing you up. Does anybody want to throw over a few mountains with me this morning? Come on, man. Hallelujah. If you got the faith in you to do this. Yeah. I said you got it in you to do it. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, it's in us working right now. It's a working faith. It's a delivering faith. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's a healing health faith. It's a wealth faith. It's a blessing faith. It's a faith that will stop things. Break things, move things, lift things up, tear things down, build stuff, add stuff, subtract stuff, multiply stuff. I'm talking about supernatural faith. God's faith. God's faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I got drunk now. I don't care. God's faith. Oh, but y'all started at 11, so I got a good excuse. God's faith. Lay your hand right here and say, God's faith. God's faith. Stand in front of the Red Sea and say, You better open up because I'm coming across.
are. We've been living beneath, 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 beneath. When he said, you'll be above only, and you'll never be beneath. You'll be the top dog, never the bottom dog. You'll be the head, you'll be a not be the tail. I'll rain on your land when it ain't raining nobody else's land. I'm looking for some supernatural faith in this room right now. Yeah. I'll save you when nobody else is saved. I'll heal you if nobody else is getting healed. Come on here. Come on. Come on. Somebody get stood up and get You said it would take five years to fill a church up like this. Jesus. This church can be filled up before we walk out of here today. Who's got some kind of faith? Yeah. Come on. Holy Ghost just type a little cool side. I don't remember right. how he worded it. But anyway, he said the Lord told him to leap. He said he jumped up and down and leaped for so long and lost 30 pounds in a matter of minutes. Does anybody want to jump with me this morning? <laughs> I'm not 26 off, but I'm telling you, 30 pounds off in the next five seconds would just be amazing. <laughs> if thou canst believe yes. when I hit the deck y'all just go home and lock the doors because I'm getting over there in that realm now see where anything can happen yeah. hallelujah 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 let the Lord touch you right now listen to me if thou canst believe, all things are possible. It's possible, but it's not only possible, it's a reality. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who can believe like this? You can, I can, we all can. Amen. Uh huh. But we're going to shift that from can to will. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand and say, and I will, I will, I will believe just like that, just like just like that. How about Will you believe like that, Michael Jordan? Will you believe like that, sir? Will you believe like that, man? Who over here will believe, 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 believe like God believes? Jesse Duplantis said years ago, God told him, said Jesse, all I want is for my people to believe my word like I believe it. He believes it so much. God believes. He has faith in his uh, the own words of his own mouth so much that he says, the moment my word comes out of my mouth, it will never come back to me unfulfilled, perfected, or complete. Jesus. He says, the next time I see what I prophesied, it will be in flesh and form. It will not be in vocabulary. My Lift up your hand and say, I have what I say. Because God's taking your words, He's taking your vocabulary, and He's turning it into manifestation right now. The hands and praise and I need to read all my scriptures. If you'll say into this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. If you do not doubt in your heart, but you believe that what just came out of your mouth will have it. He says, then it will surely come to pass. He said, therefore, what thing soever you desire. He did not say in this scripture whatever you need. Okay. May I point that out to you? He desired a fig off that tree. He desired. Come on. He wanted it. His mouth is watering. Why? Because he's had figs before. He knew how good they were. I don't like figs, but Jesus did. <laughs> but if it'll produce the supernatural, I believe I can acquire the taste yes, of it. Yes, 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 this is right after he's cursed that tree. He didn't say, so whatever you need, just believe you receive. No, he said, what things soever you desire. Pastor Sarah, what do you desire? I'm desiring some stuff from God. Yes. Some stuff in God. Spiritually, physically, financially, mysteriously, in my family, in my relationships. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Yes. He said, believe that you receive it and you shall what? Have them. Have them. Lift up your hand and say, I have what I desire. I have what I desire. 
And how do you have it? Because you believe like God believes. You have the faith of God inside of you. You operate by, you live by and out of that faith. Whom God is the author and the finisher of. He's not leaving my faith projects in limbo, unfinished and incomplete. Do you know why? Because that turns into hope deferred that makes the heart sick. But when the, oh, when the desire comes or the desire is filled, it is like a tree of life. Isn't that amazing how the Holy Ghost just brought all them scriptures together yeah. right there? Because yeah. 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 he's cursed a tree that had leaves on it but it had no life, no fruit. So he says, I've got to bring your faith. Hallelujah. Undeniably, I have to bring your faith. I'm committed to it. I'm committed to bring your faith across the finish line. Because if I don't, it not only makes me a liar. Oh, my Lord. But he says it does something to you. That I don't want to see. Because I don't want you to be a sorrowful heart. I love this. This is revelation. Yeah. I don't want you to have a sad countenance. A sad countenance is one who, who, who feels an injustice. Or a rejection. Or left out. Or disappointed. Hello. God's not into disappointing you. He doesn't make disappointments. He makes appointments. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'm closing right now. So he says, i got to do this, or it's going to make uh, your heart sick from the deferment of your hope. And he says, but if your desire comes, then it's going to be like a tree of life. A tree of life. What is a tree of life? Hello. Hello. Now I'll take you to Psalm 1. Because he says, you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. Your leaf will not wither. Whatsoever you do will prosper. Be successful. It'll be like a tree of life. It's producing life and that more abundantly. So you see, God is putting you in a perfect place of producing things in the supernatural realm. Or from and in and through the supernatural realm. Right here in the earth. He is causing us to not only have a tree of life, but to be a tree of life. So that those who come and who are attracted to the faith, my Lord, that we operate in, which is the faith of God. Y'all catching this? Because I'm giving a sum total right now. Because there's people when they start seeing that your desire has come, you have now become like a tree of life. You're going to reproduce after your own kind. And there's the law of attraction. They're going to come to you. Because they're going to want to pick that fruit. That is now manifested in your life. They're going to ask you, how did you get this far? How are you so successful? How do you have so much joy? How, how is it that your church is exploding? But our ministry is still sitting here. What is, you know, and, and that doesn't mean one is better than the other. Or lifted up above the other. But you know what? you got to key in on some clues. When you see something producing and working in someone else's life, ask questions. Amen. 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 So me personally, I'm looking for people who have proof. (laughs) And I want to get around them. Amen. And I want to draw off of you and I want to learn. Hello. Amen. Tell me your strategy. Tell me your plan. Lay it out. If it ain't one, two, three, four, just give me, drop me some hints. Drop me some clues. So I can get moving in this direction in my faith. Because I refuse to leave this earth with unfulfilled faith assignments that God has released on my life. How many of you are with me on that this morning? Stand to your feet. Have you been blessed this morning?